Many Australians know Centro as a company. They owned a lot of retail properties. And leading up to the global financial crisis, the, the directors approved the accounts showing $1.8 billion of loans that were going to fall due in the next 12 months in the accounts as long-term liabilities. Now that's wrong. The directors relied on the auditors, on the financial advice that they were given, that these $1.8 billion worth of loans were long-term liabilities. They didn't notice, but they should have, that these loans were going to have to be renewed in the next 12 months. And so when Justice Middleton from the Federal Court found that they were liable, he said that as directors, they had to have an understanding of the business. They had to accumulate knowledge about what the business was doing. And $1.8 billion worth of loans is a bit hard to ignore. They knew as directors these loans were due within the next 12 months. And they should have noticed that there was a mistake, that the short-term liabilities were insufficient in terms of those expiring loans. And so what the judge found was despite the fact that the board papers were 1180 pages long, that there were 65 financial statements with 3,000 pages of financial advice. The directors had a responsibility to understand that complex situation, to understand that these loans were uh, becoming due in the next 12 months and needed to be classified as short-term liabilities. Now the lesson company directors can learn from that case of the Centro case in terms of the complex financial uh, accounts is that technology can be complex, cyber security can be complex, but directors need to hear what Justice Middleton said in that case, that where finances go to the very heart of survival of an enterprise, the directors must understand that complexity. In some future cases, a justice is going to be looking at directors who will be asking for forgiveness because technology was too complex for them to understand or cyber security was too complex for them to get their heads around. And as Justice Middleton found, no, that's not an excuse. Directors need to be able to understand the business. They need to be able to look at that business and recognise what goes to the very heart of, and survival of, of the enterprise. If you look at Justice Middleton's judgment, and you replace the word finance with technology or cyber security, it makes sense in terms of what a future court might do in finding against directors if they allow technology, if they allow cyber security to destroy the company that they lead. So company directors need to actually understand the expert advice they get from technologists, from cyber security uh, reports, and be able to apply that to their situation.